it it's not that deep but it was Is it, like uh, completely unedited it, yeah it was actually yeah and i i had a script and i read like off the whole script and like you could see me reading off of it and everything you could see my eyes moving wow and it was it's kind it's kind of comedic looking back at it now but uh i would never show that to anybody well thank god um <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're the worst interviewer. You you make us feel bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I can I can I'll give you a hug. You want a hug? Here you no. Go. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm probably too you old. Anyways, I'd probably be pedophile. Pe pedophile. I had a couple channels before my my Chris Stuckman channel. Um, I won't get into those, but I did have the Quick Movie Reviews channel, which is where people started to get to know me and. Uh, my first review was for the movie Ponyo, which was a Hayao Miyazaki anime, and it was, I, I remember, it was one minute and 13 seconds long, because the whole point of me starting that was I was going to do quick movie reviews, and it was gonna, I was like, it's going to be easy, because I can sum it up really quick, there's no cuts, there's, it's just, it's so bad, and... I don't I, understand what's changed. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to agree. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Eat a tortilla. Right, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm listening to it now. I could literally fall asleep. So, I'm glad those aren't in the public eye anymore. That's well, good thing because if not, I would have unsubscribed by now. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribed. <laughs> Look at that, Victor. His was actually shorter this time. I know, right? Yeah, he's Same. he's so happy, so happy. Well. <clears throat> The the reason why I started jumping back and forth in my reviews, I saw, I don't know if you guys know Belated Media, he started doing those like uh, jumping back and forth styles type, and I figured I should probably move around more, but I didn't start doing that until I think around late January mm -hmm. when I actually started to move around. I had some crazy stuff in there, uh, specifically uh, no one, but uh, I had somebody say that in my head, and uh, they said... <laughs> You know, just keep doing that. Nice. All right. People talking to me. I'm sorry. First person who actually inspired me to make videos was Blake Granite Twenty Seven, mm -hmm. and he, I mean, he, he, I didn't have any contact with him. I just saw his videos and was like, yeah, I want to do that. And then eventually, I became his friend through Blog TV, and now, like, we talk, on, uh, like, we text. I mean, we talk like every day usually, and I'm probably gonna meet him soon. People like Jeremy Johns. And Fear, the film fan, the Schmoes, Tom Chattelbash. I'm going to throw Victor in there. Oh, I thank you. You're so kind. Man, I mean, this is California. I don't go see movies because of the heat, but a hurricane. Wow. Oh, that, that's a perfect reason to go see a movie. Is Not me. Air conditioning. I'm fat. I, if, the heat, <laughs> if the heat hits me, I'll get a stroke in less than 30 minutes. I'll be crawling on the ground like a turtle begging for water. Oh, I'm I'm so glad I'm always first. <laughs> Hear that, Chris? It means I'm better. Just speak, Chris. Just so everyone knows, I'm friends with Victor, so like we always bicker and stuff. It's true. It's a bromance. Well, I I'm I'm scripted. I don't I don't do any improvisations. Like I'm a hundred percent scripted. I even write down, "Hey, everybody, it's the freaking film critic here." I don't know why I do it. I just do, and I I have to because that that's the only way in which I can collect my thoughts and uh, actually provide like a, a concise review of everything I, I thought about and then just speak what I wrote in order to make something like short and quick and like mm -hmm. jump around and I have to add jokes and skits sometimes. So it, the whole process takes about like four to five hours sometimes depending on what I have to edit. Yeah, so I usually drive about 45 minutes and depending on how big the movie is, I'll wait in line. And like for Captain America or Transformers 3, I waited for two hours. What I do is I write notes. I don't write a script. Uh, I just am essentially 95% improv. I, the notes that I write are just the points I know I want to make about how I felt about certain things. And that usually takes about, the actual filming of the review is usually about 10 minutes. Then I have to upload it and edit it. And I don't edit um, as much as Victor does because I don't put like green screen or anything. It's my uh, movie poster guy. Ooh. I have a, I have one of those. You guys don't have one? Yeah. Shame. I'm, I'm, I don't I don't have them. No. Yeah. Uh, I got I got a drug guy. I got, I got a <laughs> prostitute guy, and I got I got everything but a butcher guy. Well, 
last year. Now, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Why is that not directed at me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming right up on Victor's butt in case if anyone didn't know. Then, like, in two weeks, like, Chris is going to be... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hate you, Chris, and just like <laughs> isn't Chris about to pass you? He he's about to, and I I gotta do something about that. Uh, at the noon showing of the Last Airbender, I w- I went to go see the Last Airbender at noon. I had come back, ranting and raving with my friends. I said, "Hold on, be home in a bit. I just have to record a review." They said, "Why would you do that?" No one ever watches that anyway. I said, ha, 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 hardy, ha, ha. So I went home. I sat down and I recorded my review of The Last Airbender. After that, uh, I went to my friend's house. We watched Breaking Bad until 11 p.m. I asked him if I could check my email. Holy bazongas. I had but 200 emails that evening. All comments on The Last Airbender. And Mo and a bunch of subscriptions as well. That video blew up. Chris had a similar fame story. Yes, yes. Good (laughs) dog. I did not expect this to happen. And I just kept doing stuff after that. 20 or so away right now from 4,000 subscribers. And I'm very happy about that. And it's a very short period of time. And a lot of that is due to um, early screenings, consistent reviews, and... uh, really good friends with other people on YouTube and in, in the YouTube community and we all kind of work together and support each other so it's a, it's a great thing. I actually have one question for you Romero if that's okay. Oh yeah sure go right ahead that's actually a very nice exercise interviewing the interviewee go right ahead. In preparation for this review I went to your channel and looked at some of your videos mm-hmm. or at, of preparation of this podcast my bad. Okay. And I noticed that Behind you, on your wall, you have a Last Airbender poster. I went to the midnight screening of The Last Airbender, hoping that the movie would not suck major balls as it did. Uh, Before the movie started at midnight, the theater I went to gave out free posters to everyone who entered, and me being hyped up as I was from the trailer because M. Night Shyamalan is a dick and made it look epic. I thought the movie was going to be good, so they gave free posters out. They were like, you want The Last Airbender or The Fire Guy? And since I was so hyped and pumped for it, I got the poster. And I was like, yay, and showing it off to my friends or whatever. The movie started, movie was over, I walked out, looked at the poster in my hand, and just was like whispering to myself, son of a bitch. I'm the little man here, between the two gods. Between <laughs> No, no, I'm the god here. No, Chris is... Chris is. That's fine, Victor, you can take that title. <laughs> Attack the block. Oh, okay. The block. Believe it, brother. Believe it, bruv. Believe it, bruv. Have uh, you seen it yet? Yeah, I actually went to a screening um, two months ago. Yeah, I mean, I had, like, so many screenings for it, I, I didn't get... I didn't go to any of them. Yeah, I could have saw it, like, two months ago also. Good choice. Now, just to clear something up, I've looked a photograph of Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator <laughs> and if you think this guy's got man boobs you are insane he had that, like his it's just it's out of his mind. man it's just I don't know he, had, he was <laughs> so tan he looked like like if he could be in the Jersey Shore cast he looked like he rolled around in Doritos <laughs> <laughs> like that's why his skin is so orange uh, Victor, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. I hate you. Well, fine then. I like Rocky Road anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, how about you, Chris? What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate chip cookie dough. That's just <laughs> great. Let's just I'm all not even kidding. Let's just all agree on the same thing. Let's just... I'm not even kidding. It's fantastic. Chocolate it is. Chip. Like, I love the, the, the little chunks of cookie dough. Well, if you did drive, what car would you drive? I don't know much about cars, like, at all. So I guess I'd just get something simple. I, my mom has a Honda Civic. <laughs> so I, I guess I'll just get a Honda Civic. Uh, I would appreciate having the tumbler from The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Wow, that's strange. I mean, imagine no one, no one would ever challenge you with that thing. You could drive down the road, you could drive. It's like you a know, tank. I, 
Well, is that a fence in the way? Oh, whatever. I'll just go through it. Well, if I had a car, I'd probably drive uh, probably Optimus Prime truck. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. Pumpkin ravioli. I don't even think that's a real food. No, it is. It is? I, yeah, pumpkin stuffed ravioli. That just sounds... It's delicious, and I don't eat it anymore because I'm very self-conscious about my weight now. And so I, 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 I just don't. I, I try to avoid ravioli and uh, carbohydrates, and then so that that's why I, I don't eat ravioli too often. But I think that would be the last thing I've ha I'd have. You know, uh, my favorite restaurant is called BD Wong's Mongolian Barbecue, and what it is is a restaurant where there is raw uh, meat mm -hmm. in a buffet, and then there is buffet filled with uh, noodles and rice and all various types of vegetables. And there's another buffet filled with spices and sauces. You can pay like 15 bucks and then continuously make your own bowl of whatever you want with any sauce or any spice that they have. And then you hand it to a guy who stands around this giant circular stove and cooks it right in front of you. Oh, we and have gets that here. Back and he cooks it with these two giant swords. And uh, and you can just keep doing that all day. And if you're a good cook, and if you understand what spices work well with what, you can make like some really awesome dishes. And you can just continuously do that as long as you want for like 15 bucks. That's my favorite restaurant. I don't get to go there as much because there's only two nearby me, and one of them is the closest one is like 45 minutes away. So I uh, that would probably be where I would want to go. Victor Dos Santos. I said anything. That's that's a horrible name. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I I like my name. I think it I think it means that I'm awesome. No, that's not true. Uh, I guess I'd probably change it to Chris Stuckman. <laughs> no reason. No reason. Just because. well, um, if I had to, suppose I would change my name to Chris with a K. <laughs> So classy. That's about all the questions I have for you guys. Uh, that's it? That's it. It's the end of our journey. Oh, boy. Oh. Thanks a lot for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes, oh. thank you very much. Breaking Bad is on this evening. Did you know? Yes. The greatest show on television. So, right. appreciate you allowing me to be here. Oh. And for asking questions. And uh, it's cool, man. Oh, well, I, I do as well. No, thank you guys for for being here because I feel so I was actually so overwhelmed when when Victor told me Chris Suckman wanted to be on here and I was just so I was just like wow like I don't I didn't even I didn't think that would be you know that's I'm 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 small so I really don't I didn't expect to have two big YouTubers on here so I was kind of Oh, shocked. you meant small in that way. Okay. Yeah, like, you know, small in this not I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> just really, you guys are just two genuinely nice guys. It's, uh, thank you so thank much for you. this. I really didn't. Hopefully, hopefully in four years, my channel will be as good or as mediocrely as well as your guys' channels. Thank you. <laughs> that that's a that's a compliment right there. Uh, I'm horrible at sarcasm. <laughs> it's like a whole new language to me. Thank <laughs> you.